uh, NFL Now. NFL Now is coming up uh, to talk about uh, <laughs> the NFL, of course. Playoffs start tomorrow, you know. From coast to coast, this is Goddard's Gold. Right here on the Imperial Valley's... It's gold. Goddard's gold. Saturday, 9 p.m. to midnight, and Sunday morning, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. I'm Taylor Bashotti with NFL Network now on the Westwood One Radio Network. After 24 seasons and a record six Super Bowl titles, Bill Belichick is leading the Patriots. Thursday morning, the coach and the team announced they have mutually agreed to part ways, ending the most decorated partnership in NFL history. I'll always be a Patriot. I look forward to coming back here, uh, but at this time, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna move on, and uh, I look forward, excited for the future, uh, but. Always very, very appreciative of the opportunity here, the support here, uh, and, you know, the, what Robert, what you've done for me. Tom Brady also weighing in on his longtime coach, saying in part, quote, I could never have been the player I was without you, Coach Belichick. I'm forever grateful, and I wish you the best of luck in whatever you choose next. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. It has a plan to get your tax refund fast with a buck, buck here, a buck there, here, a buck, there, a buck, everywhere, a buck, buck. You don't have to wait weeks for your tax refund. Get money sooner with a no-fee refund advance loan at Jackson Hewitt. On this loan, there's a money today guarantee. E-I-E-I-D-O. Don't settle for chicken feed. Get fast bucks at Jackson Hewitt today. No-fee refund advance loans by Republic Bank offer to eligible clients. Money today guarantee if approved for a loan on a prepaid card. Details at jacksonhewitt.com. For the ones who get it done, the most important part is the one you need now. And the best partner is the one who can deliver. That's why millions of maintenance and repair pros trust Granger, because we have professional grade supplies for every industry, even hard to find products. And we have same day pickup and next day delivery on most orders. But most importantly, we have an unwavering commitment to help keep you up and running. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. KXO AM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. It's 731 on 1230 KX on, and hopefully where you're at, too. It's a Friday morning, heading into a three-day weekend. Got to say good morning to Gene Brister. Hey, good morning, George Gale. How are you, sir? I'm uh, well and a little chilled. A little chilled, yeah. It's getting colder. Yes. It was supposed to be warming up. Uh, well, it's going to, uh, but um, I don't think it's quickly. Uh, not, really. not today. No. Not today. We might we might even get colder. Uh, another three-day weekend. Are you ready for that? Well, I, I can prepare myself. I, I'm sure you can do the same thing. I, I will. I will celebrate uh, the, the, the only way I know how. Yeah. I will have a dream. Have a dream uh, Martin celebrating Luther Martin Luther King. Day. Day. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll have a good dream. Anyway, uh, you have any plans for the weekend? Plans for the weekend. Uh, I'm going to watch uh, my grandson play basketball. Basketball. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's, that, boy, that boy plays everything, doesn't he? Yeah, but he really, I, I think basketball is his thing. That's what he really, <laughs> uh, he's, he's in a, I guess you'd call it a tournament this weekend. Uh-huh. So uh, he's going to be a tired puppy after it's all over with. Well, go Valor. 
Yeah. And his team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he might get a few winks of uh, rest in between. I don't know exactly, and we'll find out today how many games they play on Saturday and how many on Sunday. But Well, I, I've, seen, I've seen that boy's energy, and I don't think they're going to wear him down. <laughs> well, you know, we remember when we were that uh, – that age. Yeah, I, I have a, a seven-year-old grandson, and uh, he's, you know, way too early to show any indication of anything. But his, uh, his, his sport is basketball as well. Yeah, that's what you were saying. And I don't understand it because nobody in my house likes basketball. Well, you know, just <laughs> sometimes you can't figure it out. And he knows the players and everything. Yeah. I mean, he, he, oh, he then admires, he's, in, he's in it for the real. Michael Jordan is his hero. Oh, wow. And I don't think he even knows what Michael Jordan looks like. Well, you might be surprised. <laughs> Find out. I don't wear his tennis shoes now and again. <laughs> when, when somebody could afford it, or he, they put them out in the store because who can afford those? Oh, wow. I know. Anyway, are you ready for some birthdays? Birthdays is, that's the rumor we have So We have big shot birthdays. You know, today is January 12th. Uh, country singer William Lee Golden. Remember him? No, I don't, but tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to I know you're going to tell me who that uh, person is. He's I, with the uh, Oak Ridge Boys. Oh, Oak Ridge, okay. They did they did a crossover hit. They had Elvira, remember? Elvira, yeah. yeah. Uh, William uh, Lee Golden, he's the guy with the really long hair. I don't know if he's got that cut off yet. Uh he's 85 years old today. Wow. Still going. And actor, I think they've retired. I don't. Th I don't think the Oakwood Boys are still recording. Uh, actor Anthony Andrews is seventy-six, and I have never heard of him. No, I haven't either. I've heard of Ricky Van Shelton. He is seventy-two. I've heard of Ricky Van Shelton. And radio and TV personality Howard Stern. I've heard of uh, Howard Stern. Howard is mellowed. He have. I don't know if you listen to him, but he used to be really wild. And and now he he's kind of more conservative. He's chilled uh, out a little bit. A little bit, yeah. He, he well, he's old now. He's seventy years old today. Uh, director uh, John Lasseter. Yeah, uh, he he's a guy that directed Toy Story and Cars. Okay. And so Valor might be able to tell you about those. He he watched those. He yes. did, yeah, yeah, and and they're still watching them at my and, house. And that's exactly right. <laughs> they are. That guy is sixty-seven today. I don't know if he did all the Cars movies, but uh, he did one of them. Uh, news correspondent Christian Christian Amanpour. Uh she's on yeah PBS. She's uh, sixty six. Uh, Oct actor Oliver Platt is sixty four. Singer director Rob Zombie, who is uh, the director, he does really scary movies. Uh, he is fifty nine. <laughs> I don't remember seeing any of them, but I heard of them. Uh, Oliver Martinez. He was un unfaithful in Blood and Chocolate. He's fifty eight today. Uh, we have uh, Vandella. She was a model, or, yeah, probably she retired now. She's 57. Uh, Farrah Fork of uh, Lois and Clark and Wings, uh, she's 56. Uh, Rachel Harris of Lucifer she is 56. Zach De La Rocha, he's in Rage Against the Machine. Okay, yeah. yeah he's, he's 54. Uh, you probably heard of them. They, they're controversial sometimes. Yes. They jump around a lot. Well, I think one of them just passed away. Yeah. Well, I hadn't heard that. But yeah, I'm not a big fan that. of that group, but I know they do uh, create chaos every once in a while. <laughs> uh, Zabrina Guevara is of Emergence is 52 today. That's our big shot list. Got a bunch of local people coming up next. What if the music stopped? If the familiar voices were silenced? If there were no breaking news updates? What if your companion and connection to your community came with a monthly fee? Don't worry, we're free local radio with you wherever you go. Celebrating 100 years and looking forward to the next 100. We are broadcasters. Text radio to 52886 and let Congress know you depend on your local TV and radio stations. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. Happy birthdays this morning going out to Carlos Alcantar, Isabella Guillen, Carson Hawk, Orlando Castruita, Irma Picasso, Selena Gonzalez, Rosie Torres, Petra Quiroz, Rosie Fernandez, Gannon Beal, Liz Vasquez, Cheryl Perez, Diana Howell, Eric Vasquez, Jaime Esquer, Kevin Weeks, Nali Guerra, 
Yvonne Ferrer. Uh, we have Adela Alvarez, Estefani Garcia, Belia Corral, and Julie Silva. Happy birthday to each and every one. More than 80 million Americans depend on AM radio for their news, traffic, weather, sports, and a community connection. It's the backbone of the emergency alert system, keeping us safe in dangerous times. It's critical that we keep AM radio in cars because when cell and internet services are down, this free emergency service could be your only lifeline. Text AM to 52886 and tell Congress we need AM radio in cars. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. And it is 738, time for the World and California News Headlines. You ready to uh, inform? Uh, to be informed, to inform, well, yes. Well, we will participate in the information. You promised. We we will. We will. Well, you might get a, big, a bigger part. I still have a cough hanging on. Do you and, really? And it might, I might have a cough attack one pretty soon, and you get to <laughs> jump in on that. <laughs> anyway, something to look forward to. The uh, California, California News Headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Lock, your year-round comfort specialist. CBS News Brief, the morning after the night before. After last night's counter strikes in the Red Sea. So far, we have not seen any kind of retaliatory action on the part of the Houthis, but we're, of course, prepared to respond appropriately. Pentagon Press Secretary Major General Patrick Ryder on CBS Mornings. The airstrikes following escalating attacks on Western shipping by Yemen's Houthi rebels. After last week's in flight blowout of a door on a MAX 9 jet land liner, the FAA says it's ramping up oversight of Boeing, its production line, and its suppliers. And Florida Governor Ron DeSantis telling I Iowa Republicans why they should vote for him in Monday's caucus. I want to focus on what can we do so that hardworking people can get ahead again instead of falling behind. None of that will happen in this election if, if Trump is the nominee. Iowans have a chance to weigh in on this. DeSantis and rival Nikki Haley vying for second place well behind the former president whose New York fraud trial wrapped up yesterday. CBS News Brief, I'm Vicki Barker. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-LOCKE. That's 760-93-LOCKE. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-LOCKE. That's 76093-L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. My news, friends and neighbors of the man who died in this week's avalanche near Lake Tahoe speaking out. 66-year-old Kenneth Kidd was caught in the avalanche on the KT-22 run at Palisades Tahoe Wednesday morning. His neighbor in Point Reyes Station shocked. We've been neighbors for over 20 years, and he's always been a wonderful neighbor, and... Um, I'm just devastated that um, that happened. Three others were also swept up but escaped. Another avalanche in the area Thursday did not claim any victims. Gas prices in the state continue to fall. Gas prices across California are getting cheaper. Prices dropped about 10 cents in the last week. It's now about 461. Julian Paredes with AAA says barring any big developments in Ukraine or Israel impacting oil production, prices should remain stable through February. All six crew members aboard a Navy helicopter that crashed into San Diego Bay Thursday have survived. Officials say the Seahawk helicopter went down around 6.40 p.m. in the Naval Base Coronado area. The incident happened during a routine training mission. Jeff Scott, California News. And the World California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. For repair or replacement, call the experts. Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. If that sound gives you nightmares, there's a cheap and easy way to avoid engines not firing. Stable, America's number one fuel stabilizer, ensures quick and easy starts after storage. Stable's proprietary formula keeps fuel fresh for two years, outperforming competitors. Pour Stable in your gas can or directly into the tank of your car, truck, hybrid, boat, ATV, motorcycle, or lawnmower to prevent fuel-related engine problems that cost time and money. When you store, start with Stable. <laughs> My dad has a cold, but also has high blood pressure. That's why I got him Vic Stayquil High Blood Pressure for max strength daytime relief. Unlike some ordinary cold medicines, it's specially formulated for people like my dad. Dayquil High Blood Pressure is sugar-free, alcohol-free, and decongestant-free. 
Vicks Dayquil High Blood Pressure. The daytime, non-drowsy, coughing, aching, fever, sore throat, cold and flu for people with high blood pressure. Like my dad. Medicine. Use as directed. And it is now time for page one of the local news, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers, with three locations to serve you at El Centro Motors, in the Brawley Auto Store on Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and at the Imperial Valley Mall. With page one of the local news, here's Gene Brister. Taking a look at the latest in local news, two earthquakes in uh, the Baja, California area. George Gale expands the story. Back-to-back earthquakes. Uh, the U.S. Geological Survey said the uh, quakes were reported or recorded near San Felipe. Both hit at 9.18 Thursday morning. First was a magnitude 3.3 earthquake, immediately followed by a magnitude 3.7. The exact location was 39.8 miles west of uh, northwest of San Felipe. No damage or injury has been reported. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. An arsonist uh, was sentenced to prison. 33-year-old Richard Urena was uh, sentenced this week. Urena had been convicted of setting four fires in Calexico in April of last year. He was sentenced to four years in prison. The judge in the case originally gave Urena a break and directed him to attend a program to help him. Urena went for about a week and then failed to return. This week, the judge uh, sentenced him to prison. KXO Newstime 744. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers have the best price on name brand tires guaranteed. Now we're talking Michelin, Pirelli, Dunlap, Bridgestone, Continental, and more. See a Quick Lane Service Advisor and get the best price guaranteed. Remember, Quick Lane Services all makes and all models, and they're conveniently located in the Brawley Auto Center at the Imperial Valley Mall at Old Central Motors, and their new mobile service van comes to you with no added charge. County Board of Supervisors adopt a resolution on Tuesday. George Gale explains. It was at their regular weekly meeting this week. The, uh, they adopted the resolution declaring a Salvation Mountain a, ha- a historically significant property and historical resource for the purposes of the uh, California Environmental Quality Act. Re- resolution also recognized artist Leonard Clark Knight, who ha- was the creator of Salvation Mountain. Knight began creating the religious art installation and, uh, in 1980. He passed away in February of 2014. Volunteers have since worked to preserve his creation. Visitors travel from around the world to view Salvation Mountain. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Preliminary hearing for Brandon Hamlin. It ended this uh, week. The 22-year-old is charged with two counts of first-degree murder and two counts of robbery. During the hearing, a Brawley police officer testified on finding the bodies of 78-year-old Elia Castro and 84-year-old Rigoberto Castro. The officer uh, testified on how he found the bodies and how they suspect the two were killed. An investigator also testified Hamlin had told him he did not plan on murdering the couple. The investigator said he was told Hamlin was uh, washing their vehicle when he received uh, bad news, which led to the crimes. Following the testimony, the judge said he would determine if there was enough evidence to schedule a trial. He would make that announcement later this month. That concludes this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the local news has been a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with three locations to serve you. Quick Lane services all makes and models, and you will never need an appointment. It's the peanut patch in Yuma. The peanut patch. What a great place to visit. I recommend you visit the peanut patch and to enjoy. They're open Monday through Saturday, 9 till 5, Yuma time. And the store carries so many homemade, delicious chocolates, English toffee, pecan turtles, so many great things. Yeah, so much more than peanuts. The Peanut Patch. You get there by going to Yuma. Take Avenue 3E and go past MCAS Yuma until you come to East County 13th Street. Turn left 
and go for about another mile and a half and you're at the peanut patch. The peanut patch. You know, they're so big, they even have their own post office. Mm -hmm. They'll ship anywhere in the universe from the peanut patch. It's a great way to spend a day, a Saturday or any day, a quick getaway that you will enjoy. The peanut patch in Yuma. And it's now time for page two of the local news, brought to you by Burgers and Beer, serving the best burgers in town with daily lunch specials uh, Monday through Friday and happy hour, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day. With page two of the local news, here again is Gene. Central Union High School District is recognizing uh, the special month. George Gale explains. The special month is School Board Recognition Month. It is a time to acknowledge the school board and its role in supporting student achievement. Central Union High School District says throughout the month, they are joining school districts across the state in honoring the dedication and hard work of the local school board members who devote countless hours to ensuring that their students receive a high quality education and have the resources that they need to thrive. Dr. David Farkas, uh, superintendent of the uh, Central Union High School District, says they are grateful for the commitment and vision that the uh, school board members bring uh, to their roles. He said the, uh, de their dedication uh, to the success of the students and the uh, betterment of the schools is truly commendable. The uh, district encourages students, parents, teachers, and community members to take the time to express their gratitude to the uh, school board members for their selfless service and dedication to the education of our youth. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. It was reported Wednesday in Mexican authorities in Sonora, Mexico, reported Cocopa indigenous uh, leader, Eronio uh, Wilson, had been found dead. Cocopa's uh, inhabitants uh, of northern Mexico, as well as Arizona near Yuma. The state prosecutor in Sonora says they are questioning a person of interest in the death of Wilson. They say the initial investigation points to motives related to her uh, immediate uh, circle of friends, family, or acquaintances. They have ruled uh, out Wilson's political activities as a motivator or motivating factor. A cause of death has not been made available. And finally, uh, Rio Bend RV Park's uh, first book fair is coming up. Here's more on that story. It will be free to attend. It'll be held tomorrow. It uh, is open to residents, guest, uh, guests, uh, winters, visitors, and the general public. All ages are welcome. Uh, there will be works from general, from several genres, uh, fiction, nonfiction, general uh, comics, poetry, memoir, uh, military, naval history, and more. Authors will be on hand to discuss their published works and signed books. The event will be held from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m at the Rio Bend Cafe, uh, 1589 Drew Road. About 15 local authors are expected to attend the event. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. We'll be back with a look at the weather. Did you know that Burgers and Beer has a happy hour every single day from 3 to 6? With specials on fried machaca burrito bites, RV nachos, mini tostadas, and more. Plus $2 off tall beers and shot and drink specials. Ready for a fast and inexpensive lunch? Get one of our weekday lunch specials that include a soft drink for only $8 to $10. With tons of TVs, we've got you covered for any sport you want to watch. Burgers and Beer with five locations. Proudly serving you, your family, and friends since 1985. Burgers and Beer for the best burger in town. Here's George Gale with a look at the weather. The high temperature yesterday, 63 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 33. The weather forecast calling for sunny skies today. Highs right near 63. Southeast winds at around 5 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear skies. Overnight lows around 38. South to southwest winds at around 5 miles per hour. Saturday, sunny skies. Highs right near 66. South winds at around 5 miles per hour. Sunny on Sunday. Highs right near 70. West to southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour.
And right now, we're looking at 33 degrees, 66 percent, the relative humidity. Air Pollution Control District says air quality, air quality is unhealthy for sensitive groups in Calexico. Air quality is moderate in El Centro. Air quality is good for the rest of the region. That's it. That's your local news and uh, page two and the weather brought to you by Burgers and Beer, the place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bring the family uh, to or meet your friends at Burgers and Beer. Let's talk about it. Bringing community mental health issues to your radio. Listen each Sunday morning to KXO AM 1230 at 7 a.m. or on Sunday evening at 7 p.m. on FM 107.5. Or log on to KXORadio.com for a podcast of the show in its entirety. This program is produced by the Public Affairs Department of KXO AM 1230 and FM 107.5. Let's Talk About It is presented as a public service in Imperial County Behavioral Health Services. And it is time for your local news. Sport, no, it's a sports world roundup is what it's time for. Brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, uh, working together to provide you the best of care. NFL playoffs start tomorrow. Every single game will be heard right here on 1230 KXO. This weekend, it's the wild card weekend. Two games on Saturday, Cleveland Browns against the Houston Texans. Dolphins taking on the Chiefs. Sunday game, it's a triple header uh, game. <laughs> it's uh, three games. Uh, Steelers at the Bills. Packers at the Cowboys. Rams take on the Lions. Monday night football will be the Philadelphia Eagles at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, every single game on 1230 KXL. On the NBA scoreboard, it was the Cavaliers uh, at the Nets. Cavaliers beat the Nets 111 to 102. Bucks beat the uh, Celtics uh, 135 to 102. Thunder got by the Trailblazers 139 to 77. Mavericks uh, defeated the Knicks 128 to 124. And it was the Suns over the Lakers 127 to 109. Men's basketball, college basketball, uh, number 10, Illinois defeated Michigan State. 71 to 80 uh, to 68. It was uh, uh, 24th ranked Florida Atlantic. Uh, they defeated Tulane 85 to 84. And the upset, uh, Santa Clara defeated Gonzaga 77 to 76. We'll have more in just a minute. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pm hd.org today and in the world of tennis uh, jerry lechka leheka uh, defeated uh, sebastian corda to advance to the adelaide international final these are all their warm-ups uh for the australian open which is next week unseated uh, taro daniel defeated the top seeded ben shelton in the auckland classic semi-final and uh, in uh, tennis, the uh, total prize money at the BNP uh, Paribas Open, that's the one that played at Indian Wells, has risen, uh, will rise until $19 million this year. Uh, Rory McIlroy in golf cover, uh, recovers from a quadruple bogey, leads uh, uh, by two in Dubai. And Woodland, uh, Gary Woodland, returns with a 71. Davis leads at the uh, Sunny Open. Uh, Sony opened and then CAA on Thursday announced uh, magne- uh, significant penalties for the uh, Florida State football team, uh, including two years probation and disassociating uh, with its NIL collective uh, for one season uh, for violating rules on using a name, image and likeness offers on a recruiting inducement. OK. Uh, former Texas, uh, Nebraska, and FAU quarterback, this is incredible, Gary Thompson has committed to Oklahoma, a fourth school where he will play his seventh season in college football. Yeah, go Gary. The uh, right-hander Marcus Tro- Stroman and the Yankees are in agreement on a two-year, $37 million contract that includes a vesting player option, uh, according to sources, lengthening a New York's rotation with a two-time All-Star. And Juan Soto, remember him, former Padre? Uh, he and the Yankees have agreed to a $31 million salary for 2024.
Since 1901, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has provided the finest printing and copying services from start to finish. When you choose Imperial Printers Rocket Copy, you can feel confident in our expertise and personal attention to your project. We have a team of professional graphic designers ready to take your ideas and make them a reality. From promotional merchandise, full color brochures, blueprints, and high speed copies to business forms and everything else in between, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers dependable and affordable quality printing. Thank you for choosing locally owned and operated Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. We have convenient locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. And the Sports World Roundup was brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Now on to the financial news and weather brought to you by Southwest Security, locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security also offers live scan fingerprinting to the public. The uh, stock market news uh, today, uh, stocks edged up Friday morning this morning, uh, powering uh, through a stream of big bank results that failed to uh, lift hopes for a robust quarterly earnings session or season. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average ticked up 0.2% or about 75 points. Benchmark S&P 500 gained 0.4%, while the uh, tech-heavy NASDAQ Composite advanced about 0.3%. Got your weather coming up. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, for text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. The high temperature yesterday, 63 degrees. The overnight low this morning of 33. National Weather Service says a cold to dry air mass has settled into the region, and this is resulting in fairly widespread freezing temperatures. Going into the weekend and into next week, temperatures will steadily warm, rebounding back to near normal levels by Monday or Tuesday. As the uh, dry and tranquil conditions persist next week, further warming is likely to push uh, temperatures back into an above normal category during the latter half of next week. And right now, we, we're looking at this, uh, 33 degrees, 66%, the relative humidity. Financial news and weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services. They offer 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. It's 8 o'clock at KXO El Centro, California. It was nearly a mid-flight disaster. CBS's Christopher Cruz. The FAA today said it will intensify its oversight of Boeing's aircraft production. The announcement came a week after a panel blew off one of the company's new 737 MAX 9 jetliners being flown by Alaska Airlines. The agency wants to know if the door plug was manufactured to meet the design approved by regulators. Overseas, American warplanes led the way in strikes against Houthi rebels in Yemen. National security researcher Bradley Martin at the RAND Corporation. The message should be clear. When we said there would be consequences, <laughs> we meant that there would be consequences. Consequences for an increased number of attacks by the Iranian-backed forces on commercial ships in the Red Sea. CBS's Charlie Daggett. This morning, Houthi leaders said this aggression will not go unanswered, threatening to keep on attacking those ships that are passing through the Red Sea to Israel, with President Biden saying he will not hesitate to act further if that continues. Heavy snow and bitter below zero cold is invading the nation's midsection. CBS's Ed O'Keefe is in Iowa where the conditions are impacting the run-up to Monday night's Republican presidential caucuses. Candidates are adapting their plans given today's snow and the record cold temperatures through the weekend. Already we've learned today Nikki Haley had to cancel three events that were scheduled across the state because of the snow and the cold temperatures. She instead plans to talk to her supporters in telephone town halls. In the east, still drying out from flooding, Odyssey New York meteorologist Craig Allen says there's heavy rain coming. This is going to drive water on shore, and it's likely to cause uh, breaches and coastal flooding at times of high tide as we go through today, tonight, and on into Saturday. We're hearing from Katie Cox, the Texas woman who fought to end her non-viable pregnancy.